Islamic cleric lynched in Pakistan over alleged blasphemy. A Muslim cleric in Pakistan was recently lynched by an angry mob after allegedly making blasphemous remarks at an opposition party rally. The cleric, Nigar Alam, was invited to speak at a rally opposed by the opposition tariq e Ensaf or PTI party, in the village of uh, Salwadar uh, Haider Pakhtun Khwan, I'm, I'm sorry, in, in this province. <laughs> Following his speech, the crowd became enraged and killed him. Police initially secured him in a nearby shop, but the crowd broke through the door, dragged him out, and beat him to death. The incident was widely shared on Pakistani social media. Blasphemy is a highly sensitive issue in Pakistan, often leading to violence, lynchings, and death, even for unproven allegations. There has been other incidents of lynching due to blasphemy charges in the country. In December of 2021, Sri Lankan fact a Sri Lankan factory manager was lynched and burned for alleged blasphemy, an incident that then Prime Minister Imran Khan called a day of shame for Pakistan. So let's, I'll give you a little bit of backup. So uh, Pakistan is in the midst of a political crisis, to put it mildly. And there's, I mean, that's the understatement of the year. <laughs> and there was a rally that was happening for the opposition party. And at the rally for this opposition party, I found the footage that allegedly was the remarks that were made that were so blasphemous. And there's this cleric who's giving a speech in support of this local politician. And he's saying, he basically says something along the lines of like, this man, this politician, for us, he is like the, the rank of the prophet. Or he's saying like, we're not making that claim, but like other people have said this or whatever. And, and then he like tries to backtrack because the crowd starts to go like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the politician is standing next to him. And when he says that, the politician like raises his hand and like waves him off, like tries to stop him. Like, no, 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 no. Don't put that on me, bro. Do not put that on me. But I can show it. In, yeah, it's uh, yeah. not that one. It's yeah. farther down. I know. Yeah, yeah. here we go. So he kind of like, makes some comparison to being of the rank of the prophet. It's kind of yeah. weird. Um, and, you know I mean? and then that was apparently the remark that set everyone off. How can I get to this tweet? Okay, there we go. Um, so here. Wait, we don't see this. This is. It's yeah, on the wrong tab. Oh. There we yeah, go. There we go. All right. So. This is, he said this in a crowd, and he died brutally hours after he said this, okay? This guy is brutally. a respected mullah, and he's saying something in front of a crowd, and he doesn't know that the words that he's about to utter is going to make him die in the most aggressive way, okay? I just did a recording with Harry Sultan, and he showed me the video of how he died, mm -hmm. okay? Which I can show here. Oh, hell no. And, and it's horrible. It is disgusting. It is a slow and miserable and painful death. And only dozens because of- and dozens and dozens of men curb stomp you. Yes, like, like, Imagine one guy and there is a mass, a giant mass of people around you, all of them desperately trying, wanting to get the chance, just get the chance to be able to hit you as well. Like they don't want to miss. Imagine people are just 
want like wanting to so desperately wanted to not lose this opportunity somebody insulted the prophet and this guy is a mullah this guy is an islamic mullah and he just spoke a little bit out of turn and the, all of a sudden you had a giant mob of people who was just hours before were respecting you as a religious figure and now they all just want to kill you and i like i thinking that i can't let this go i have to make sure that he doesn't die before i also participate Participate. Think about, think about the mindset that this guy insulted the prophet, and I have to be able to like. I hope I get a chance to get my head in there as well. And the guy's body is just floating there, and there is a giant mob of people, every single one of them trying to get their head in. Okay, and all of this, like all going from a respected mullah to all of a sudden a blasphemer that needs to die because of this 30 seconds 30 seconds of saying the wrong thing and that is your fate that is how you die well let's see what he said did he insult did he like did he make a joke about the prophet did he like insult him we'll look he, let's look here okay do you want to read it or do you want to read what he said I will yeah. Play. Um. Should we pause it, or just you could turn the audio off, and I can just read it all the way through. I think that might be better. Well, I mean, what you want to see the, you want to see get a little bit of the audio. Oh yeah, because then you hear the crowd like. react too. Okay, so it starts off yeah, with yeah. saying, "I now I can't say anything else to you." And I won't compare him to the prophet. By the way, he is talking about the politician who is in yes. the brown shirt on his, this. well, our right side. Yeah. The guy on the right. So he is, yeah. So he is, this is a mullah who is trying to compliment this politician. Okay. So he's saying, I won't compare him to the prophet. This He's trying to say this guy is like really, really good. Okay. So four seconds in 30 <laughs> seconds. But for us, this man, meaning this politician, who has come, isn't less than the rank of the prophet. Yeah. And, it, and then watch the reaction of the politician immediately. So the politician hears this and he like he's terrified. Like, what are you doing? So, guys, this is the insult. First of all, he said, I don't want to compare him to the prophet. Said, and then I he won't. said this. I won't. I, and now the politician, the po this is a mullah, okay? And the politician realizes that you can't say this. You can't compare me to the prophet. This is not a compliment you want to make. He's like, he's like, no, the, pro the, the politician is like, no, 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 no. Read this. He tries to like rip it out of his hand. He said, we yeah. don't award him this rank. We don't award him this rank, but still you have to understand it is very respectable personality. He is a very respectable personality. And together with him, you should start, and then it just goes inaudible because you hear the crowd. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's what ended him. He said, I don't want to compare him to the prophet. I'm not saying he's the same rank as of the prophet, but he wanted to compliment him by saying that he is kind of like a prophet to us, right? That, that was the 30 seconds that just... I mean, from that 30 seconds, only five seconds of it was basically the part that ended his life. That was it. That was it. That, and then a few hours after this, he was dead. He was dead. This is the state of Pakistan. He said I, he, the guy is dead because he just said we like this politician so much and he compared him to the prophet. Except, like, not. He said, I won't compare him to the prophet, but he is as if yeah. he has a, the rank of the prophet. Yeah. And for that, he was lynched in the street, in public, by dozens and dozens and dozens of his fellow citizens. It's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. And nowadays we get video footage of this kind of thing and how it goes down. We see it more vividly than ever. 
it's brutal. It's so, like some of the most brutalizing stuff I've ever seen in my entire life. It's disgusting. But Armin, so you talked to Horace about this and what did he tell you about more local reactions and reactions and stuff like that? Well, I'm going to release that video. About, we have a couple of videos about Pakistan that I'm going to edit and really soon. So I won't. I'm, oh, nice. Okay. That's, that's going to be on Secular Jihadists. Um, but I, instead of that, I want to show you how disgusting Pakistani Defense Force is being here right now. Okay. Oh, my God. I was going look to at this. this. Look at this. Look at. Look at this. We're showing you somebody that's the state that Pakistan is in and somebody died because just uttering some words. And look at the what about is him here. He's saying, Armin, lots of kids in the U.S. are having their lives destroyed because of mass shootings for no reason. And good thing we didn't endorse that Pakistani Defense Force. Good thing we're not celebrating that. What are you on about? What is this? What about is him? He is on a level of cope that he wants to throw the murder of children in our face to try to get one over on us. That's how badly this person is trying to cope with the fact that this goes on in their country. And it's so abnormal. It is abnormal. You, you're a kind of disgusting human. You're a disgusting human being, Pakistan Defense Force. You're using the murder of children as a way to defend Pakistan. You're so tribal and so nationalistic that you're using dead children as a way to cope against what's happening in your country. And look at this idiot. Pakistan Defense Force is saying, Armin, but you never report on that. It's the atheist fucking republic. In the United States, when there's religion news, we shit on the United States all the time. What? This is what? Why the Atheist Republic? We cover religion related news, you fucking moron. We have said so many, so many things against the U.S. about how many times we shit on Republicans here when it when it has something to do with religion, about evangelicals, about conservative Christians in the U.S. We do that all the time, you moron. If there is a mass shooting that well, does have a religious angle, we talk about it. Most of them don't. So we don't talk about them because that's not what we're here to talk about. But when they do, we cover it. Look at this idiot. You know what? I'm going to block you because of this. He said, wow, calm down. Yeah, you throw the murder of children on my face as a way to whitewash what's happening in Pakistan. And you're telling me to calm down? You must not actually give a fuck about what happens in, in your country. If in response to something as gruesome, drastic, and barbaric as this is to try to point the finger at other people, that means you don't actually have the best intentions towards your own freaking nation. Okay, because if this is happening in my nation, it's a time to freaking have some critical reflection. Because I want better. Because I genuinely want better. When stuff goes down okay, here, saying... I have critical reflection. And I say, you know what? We could actually do better. Let's actually like have some you know, self-reflection and to see how we can improve. Because this is intolerable. And so I want to do something about it. I don't point to other people. What am I, a loser? No accountability? What the hell? But. Here's the thing. So he's saying I made a mistake. Okay, Pakistan, Pakistan Defense Force. Okay, we gen like we're not anti-Pakistan. Okay, but every country we accept every country has its problem. Okay, it's not just Pakistan. When we cover Pakistan, okay, we're not making the case that Pakistan is exclu has. It's the only country with problems. Of course, the United States has problem. I'm from Iran. I shit on the problems on Iran all the time. Do you think like I'm anti-Iran because I shit on the Islamic Republic? Okay. We want the best for Pakistan. We want the best for India. We want the best for Iran. We want the best for United States. But part of wanting the best for country is highlighting the problems.
If we highlight the co country's problems, that doesn't mean we're against them. We're actually for them. If you love Pakistan so much, you should be wanting more people to highlight their problems because that's how they get better by highlighting the problems of every country. Yeah, anyways, it's okay. Oh my it's god. Okay. <laughs> That's so wild. That's wild, bro. Oh my god. Okay, so before we started the segment, you were going to say that there were some people that were celebrating this and okay. then you didn't il illuminate. So please tell us what you meant by that. Um okay. So this Mullah who died, he was actually, according to Harris, at least, okay, we, you know, he was, he was somebody for executing blasphemers, mm. right? Mm. So, so some people, again, not us, nobody deserves to die like that. Nobody deserves to die for what they say, period. Yeah. Even if it's something that disgusting, okay? But we saw uh, some people right so, like some apostates were like well this guy wanted other people to die uh, to die for speaking against the prophet and now the same thing happened to them to him right so they're like karma and all that stuff again mm -hmm. that's not a guys no uh, that's i don't i want to make sure that we we don't promote that kind of thinking okay even the most vile and disgusting thing somebody could say is people are a product of their environment and socioeconomic conditions. People, even the most vile pe people in the world deserve to be happy, okay? And if we, the judicial system, if we are, if we defend mm, punishing people and imprisoning them, it's not because we want to, when they do something, a, a crime, it's not because we want to see them suffer. Like I want us to practice not wanting to see other people suffer, even if when it's hard, right? If we punish people, it's because we are trying to remove them from society so wh where they can't do more harm. But it's good practice to not enjoy other people's suffering, even when you think they deserve them. It's a it's it's good to be like that. It's good to be more like that, even when it's difficult. And um, but don't ask that from other people, like I'm doing right now. Because just try to do it for yourself. Because sometimes asking that from you know it's not justified. If somebody lost their child because of like a murder, like don't don't I don't ask for that when it's personal. Okay, ask for that when it's when you're a few steps away from that. Like so, if somebody yeah so. Again, it's it's no. It, don't be a Christian. What I'm saying, where they want you to forgive everything and everybody, even when somebody comes and murders your child. Okay, that is insane. Okay, don't you know? Be forgiving, be loving. Don't want people to suffer, but not as far as a Christian. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, I knew Rebecca was watching, so I had to say. That. <laughs> I love Rebecca, though. <laughs> Why do you have to take dibs at her, man? <laughs> because I know I she can Christian. take it. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. She, I... Rebecca has a good sense of humor. Um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. So I yeah. have uh, some comments I wanted to highlight. Um, yeah, yeah. So Young Atheist, one of our members actually in Pakistan, said um, mob, lynch mob lynching for blasphemy in Pakistan is has now become really common. The government does not have food to feed their people, so they use religion. Suha is saying, hashtag blasphemy is not a crime. Screaming from the rooftops. Still true. Um, and Young Atheist also continued. He said, the mob beat him to death and then beat his dead body after that. The video is horrific. It is so bad. It's insane. Have you seen it? I saw a version of it where okay. it's, you know, blurred, so I can't see it mm. in high definition, but you see enough, you can tell 100% what's going on. His head was smaller because of the mass of the amount of stumping on it. Yeah. Oh my god. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, can I say something else about this, guys? This is not the life of one person, right? So if you want to talk about statistics, radicalization in Pakistan is not going to just hurt the the num the 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 people who are being violently killed. It's going to kill the uh, many many more people beyond the victims of uh, that violence because Pakistan right now needs investment, but the but the instability from Islamization, the numbers of victims from that in Pakistan is in the millions so you see one person dying right now there right now but what you're wit witnessing is the instability that will lead to a lack of investment in pakistan especially right now that it needs it and the poverty that that leads to would take the lives of millions tens of millions yeah Yeah, GJ is saying that's very graphic, man. Yeah, I'm sorry for saying that. Anyways, yeah, other comments you wanted to? We got a super chat. We got yeah, we got a super chat from Gaijin American. Wow, twenty dollars. Thank you for the generous super chat, Gaijin. Um, saying in China there was a mango cult that saw people who criticized the mango get sent to Yama, meaning they get they get sent that to Gaijin. heaven. They get sent to God for criticizing the mango. I don't know why the human psyche be like this. Also, Armin has way cuter facial hair than Susie. Well, that's true. I'll give him that. I'll always <laughs> give him that. He does do Thank a very you. good little stubble, a good, a good scruff. Um, <laughs> Thank, uh, you. Oh, Thank you. Why Rebecca, is he cute sorry, I told people. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I told people not to be Christian, Rebecca. <laughs> 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 Rebecca, I'm sorry. Um, mm. Why is the human psyche like this? Because we are inherently tribal because we need it to survive in the hellhole that is Mango the called. planet. Cajun American always brings us the weirdest, weirdest uh, facts. Yeah. Random weird facts. Yeah. Thank you, Cajun yeah. American. Good to know. Um, oh, yeah. We got membership gifts. Thank you. Who get who gave memberships gifts? It was Darko gave out five memberships. Thank you so much. And people are Aww, thanking. Thank him you, Darko. That's so generous, guys. If you were just gifted a new membership, make sure to use the new emojis. Um, yeah. And how about you address this comment? Yes, Pakistani Defense Force is asking Armin, but why would there be less investment? This is not. Um, the murder and crime rate in places like the U.S. is higher. Um, so here's the thing: it's um, the, it's not about murder rates, okay? It's about instability. Okay, the, the Muslim radicalization in Pakistan causes instability. It's 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 predictable crime versus chaos. Right, so political inst the Islamization of Pakistan and the political instability that that causes makes it a very unstable environment. That is why it's so much easier to invest in the United States because things are predictable. When you're doing when you're doing uh, finances, you know, when you're trying to predict the cash flow coming from something, um, uh, from projects, you know that things are going to happen. You know there's not going to be a terrorist attack. You know the political climate is going to be, remain organized enough for you to be able to um predict exactly where a project is going no not exactly to some extent where a project is going by the way is it true that um murder rates in uh united states is higher than pakistan because i don't know i have to check but i wouldn't be surprised because at least in some places in the united states the murder rates are very very high well again i don't want to just assume much again if it's true i wouldn't be surprised it's completely in line with my views of um, United States crime rates, but again, I just don't want to say that. I think. <laughs> it's, no, it is true. It's, it's completely true. in line with my view of the United States. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is, but that's not. Um, it, it, that that is very. I, I can. I know that, that that's probably true. But again, uh, crime rates 
Um, in saber, certain neighborhood, political stability is still is still there. Democratic process is still there. Like now, what you're seeing in Pakistan is the complete uh, collapse of uh, many institutions, right? Um, and again, you could, yeah, yeah, and you can see this is why people are allergic to investing in Pakistan, but not in the United States. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. I just wanted to look Wait, it up. You're not. Here's the thing. You're not listening. Pakistan Defense Force saying army in Pakistan will never collapse. I said many institutions. I said the collapse of many institutions. I was careful how to use my wording. Oh, we don't need investment. Okay, you don't need investment. You're delusional. Sure, buddy. You're delusional. You're delusional. Sure, buddy. You're coping. You're coping. You don't need. You don't need investments. Everybody needs investment. Everyone, Every country needs investment. What are invest you talking about? The most prosperous need investment. Oh my Jesus! <laughs> Every country needs investments. You are delusional. Oh, we, we got survived super thousands of years without investment. Oh my God! Okay, I just need to turn my brain off for a second. <laughs> Sorry. You're delusional. How old are you? Oh my God. Okay, GJ is saying about Pakistan for 20 years, Pakistani, uh, Pashtu, Pashtun, Pashtun, yeah, Taliban were militant Muslims in Afghanistan. Are Afghani Pashtuns now in full force a militant Islam problem or on Pakistan side of the border? So here's the thing the Taliban and a lot of other Pashtuns don't recognize the border between Afghanistan and Pakistan, right? The, a lot of them see the Pashtun people in that area as one people. And a border came between them that uh, was drawn by the British and separated them. So they're like, why are we some of us in Pakistan and some of us in Afghanistan and we're separated? So this is this is a very difficult thing because the border integrity between Afghanistan and Pakistan is constantly challenged. And now because of the existence of Taliban, which is a passionate force, uh, which is now a militant, the most powerful a militant force in Afghanistan, that bordering integrity between Pakistan and um, Afghanistan is being challenged even more, right? So we have a country where is, there's at the brink of economic collapse and political instability. And at the same time, we have movements within Balochistan of Pakistan and the Pashtun part of Pakistan constantly trying to challenge the border integrity. So the Pashtun problem is not just a uh, Afghanistan problem is definitely a Pakistani problem as well. And a lot of these people see themselves as not part of Afghanistan or part of Pakistan, but as the same people just divided by a border. Does that, did that answer GJ's question? I hope it answered it. You're muted. Oh, I was going to say it made sense to, sense to me. Yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.